is Elizabeth from beautyblondie.com and today I'm here to show you, or tell you more or less, a little trick that I like to do when I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair, shampooing my hair. So I'm going to be using today the uh, ProSante hair care line and I have here it's the revitalizing shampoo and the replenishing conditioner. These are two of my favorite products. I love them, I use them in my hair daily. Um, well, actually every other day because I don't wash my hair every day, um, but I use them weekly. <laughs> and I wanted to just show you and tell you a little trick of what I do when I'm washing my hair. Now, once you're in the shower, your hair is all wet, you really want to worry about not, detang not tangling up your hair while you're in the shower. So what you do is you take your shampoo and you put probably about between like a... Mine's more like a dime size or a nickel size. I don't use very much. I lather it up with my hands really well, and you really want to start at the base. The base of your hair is what gets most of the oil, and it, you know, the ends of your hair are usually the most dry. So you want to start by just shampooing and really massaging the top of your head. And you really want to make sure you get this all nice and clean, because this is the part you want to focus on. Um, the first time I do it, especially since this is a low sulfate shampoo and it's great for color treated hair, um, it doesn't lather up as much as a normal shampoo, I guess you would say. So it, the first time I do it, I really can feel that it's not too sudsy, but it gets nice and clean. So when I go ahead and I rinse it all out, then the second shampoo really lathers up a lot more. Now, one thing you don't want to do when you're lathering your hair is you don't want to kind of like go all over the place and get your hair all in one big knot. That tends to leave your hair in a bad situation for when you go to comb it out because it really is just kind of getting it all together. So when you're shampooing, you want to go in one motion. So you kind of want to start at the top and you want to work your way down like this. You don't necessarily want to just make one big nest at the top of your head. As you're rinsing out your shampoo, it gets through your ends. You don't have to worry so much about those because they're usually more dry than the scalp. So you just really need the shampoo to clean it just a little bit. Main focus is up here. You want to work in one direction and kind of just pulling all of your hair back and down. And so it really cleans it without getting it knotty. Now when I go and put the conditioner in, what I like to do is I use my pit comb, one of my favorite products. Um, I use this pick comb while I'm in the shower. So I go ahead, put my conditioner in, I usually shave, whatever else I need to do. Then right before I rinse it out, I take the pick comb and make sure that I can kind of run through the hair. It's so much easier having the conditioner in your hair already, and that way it just kind of goes through nice and easy. And if you can't, if it doesn't get through, and by the time you get out and dry your hair with a towel, and you still need more, you can go ahead and you can use the leave-in conditioner I showed you guys how to make. And that's right here, you can find that here. It is really so easy, it's so soft on your hair, it really makes a huge difference. So if you can remember these simple, easy steps, it'll make your shampooing process and washing process so much easier when you're in the shower. So this is just a quick little tip. I hope that it helps. If you like it, like it and share it. I really appreciate everyone leaving their comments and if you have any more, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. I'd love to be in your inbox each week, so don't forget to subscribe to my blog and to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss a thing. Again, I'm Elizabeth at beautyblondie.com. Thanks for watching.